our political landscape has massively changed in New Zealand and um, our, our rail companies and what's occurring over there and, and we've had some big fights and we've had some wins. So it's often we, don't, we know the issues and we know what's going wrong but we don't often get to the point where we, uh, where we get to the win and we've had some wins for some specific reasons and, that's, and we'll talk about that. So on our political landscape, um, we've had nine years of winter, Tory winter, harsh Tory winter. And um, we've, we're in spring now, so from around about October last year, we were, we're leading up to complete hopelessness. We weren't going to win. We had a leader that had plenty of skill but no charisma, and he strategically stood down, and we had Jacinda Ardern stand up. And from there, I'm a Labour person. I'm a Labour electorate committee member. I'm a campaign manager for the now Honourable uh, Education Minister, Mr Hipkins. And for us, it was incredibly good that we actually had hope. Hope got us out there on election day. Wasn't quite the result that we wanted, but by a bit of coalition, by, by the coalition parties getting together and doing what's good for New Zealand, we actually overturned the national government and we now have a coalition of Labour, Greens and New Zealand First, and all of those parties are pro-rail. So we're going to see a rebirth of rail. Yeah. 